Well, we're here. Too many games. Welcome, Red Warrior. Hey, what's up, everyone? Monado Max here. It's day zero of too many games. <laughs> I'm calling it day zero because it's the day before the convention. Anyways, we're here at the house. We're all packed up. We're getting ready to leave to head over to PA. Gonna be meeting up with some friends. Really looking forward to this convention. This is gonna be an awesome vlog series that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing daily uploads up until the convention's over, I think. I don't know. I, that might be a stretch. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm gonna be vlogging what happens today and tomorrow all into one video. So you're seeing Thursday and Friday in one video. I can't wait for this convention. So many people's going. It's gonna be a blast. I cannot wait. Let's go ahead and head and see what happens in today's vlog. Okay, so I'm actually here at the convention. Uh, I just picked up my badge. Uh, I didn't get a media badge. Was I did put an application. They didn't approve me, uh, but my next plan was to buy a vendor badge and like go in early with the vendors to get the right camera shots that I want for my video. Unfortunately, <laughs> the lady knew what my plan was and started questioning me. Uh, the too many games lady so <laughs> it didn't work out uh but i found out media badges don't get any special like access into anything so i don't feel too bad about not getting a media badge so yeah i meant to film me picking up my badge but this is what it looks like i got the mini boss so i got that little nice pen set and the t-shirts all of that so yeah that's the convention out there uh the vendors are setting up uh i'm gonna head back to the hotel and see what's happening over there all right, guys, I have made it to the hotel. Uh, there's not much that's gonna be happening today. That's why we're putting both Thursday and Friday into one video. Uh, this is what I got at my Too Many Games badge. Uh, I got this little cool Too Many Games pin that they give out and then a nice Too Many Games t-shirt uh, that's in the Super Nintendo font uh, because I think that's the, uh, the pattern that they're going with this year is all Super Nintendo stuff. I might be wrong about that. It's my first year here, but when I was inside the place, it looked very Super Nintendo-y. So uh, yeah, I don't think anything else is going to happen. Uh, this is just a short room tour. It's, it's a nice hotel. It's pretty good. Uh, I would say it's kind of small. I kind of was thinking it was gonna be a little bit bigger because it's a sweet hotel, but uh, it's all good. It's a nice hotel. I like it still. But uh, I think that's the end of today. Who knows? I know some of the Thai cast people are already here. I might be meeting up with them tonight. So there might be a little bit more vlog footage to show off tonight. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we're here at TieCast reunion. Well, yeah. some people. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's TieCast. Well, yeah, we don't have the whole oh, group, yeah, though, yeah. you know. Everyone yeah. here is TieCast. Yeah, everyone here is <laughs> TieCast, though. Each uh, piece of gaming is over there. He's going to be here tomorrow. But uh, we, we just got done playing some Mario Kart and Smash Bros. For us, destroyed all of us. Uh, we had a guy that was asking if we put money on this whole thing. It was kind of funny. I won seven hundred dollars. I told him I put a thousand dollars on this. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized there's Chris. All right. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Um, we just got done wrapping up. We're talking about our convention plans. We got a little present from Toaster Dog Chris over here. Uh, he's got to switch OLED early. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, you could have gotten away. With I could have. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna wrap up today's vlog. Well, it's two videos. So it's we're heading to Friday now. I'll see you guys in Friday's portion of the video. Peace. Just when I thought the day was about to end, I go into my hotel room. There's a bunch of stink bugs now in there, and then I find the cause to the problem. Like I, I get rid of them, and then I see this little hole in the ceiling. I go in the hole. <laughs> All that's coming out is stink bugs. There's like 10 stink bugs into that room now. So now we're just heading to another hotel room. We took the hotel and they were just was like, we're gonna give you another room. So yeah, this day's not over. <laughs> Let's see what entertainment lies ahead. All right, so it's the next day. I'm a little bit late to the convention. There's a line to enter the building. Um, you guys saw how my morning went. I didn't get to sleep till about 3 a.m. because of the issues with the hotel room. So I'm gonna line up and I'll get you guys some shots of what the convention looks like.
I just made that up. about Team oh. Troopers. We found the Team Trooper fan himself. Beach Pizza Gaming. <laughs> we gotta do another of those videos. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you and I are there for release day on Team Troopers too. Team Troopers. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. It's crazy the amount of people that still go back to that video. Oh, I know. And the I know. comments I get are like people that actually enjoy the game. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. That's we we got to do a part two to like finding the worst Switch game of all time. Though. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm down for that. Check yeah. out Beach Pizza Gaming. He's going to be in the description below. He's only here for one day, unfortunately. It's that's really it. sad. But at least he's here. I'm here. Look who I just found, guys. We've got Scott the Watch. It's me. Wow. <laughs> Uh, how's it going, dude? Yeah, it's, it's going okay. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's yeah. great to meet you, dude. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, it's great to be here at, at Too Many Games 2021 in Oaks, Pennsylvania with yeah. you. Yeah. What was your name again? Max. Max. Yeah. Max. With yeah. Max. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to be here with him. Scott's channel is going to be in the description. Check him out. Yeah. I mean, he's a huge channel, great guy, makes great videos. Uh, yeah, check him out, though. Found this car. He just That's bought. Right. We got Monster Hunter Rise Amiibo yeah. set. That's I didn't right. get a chance to pick up that. I just bought the Amiibo individually with the game. Yep. But that's pretty cool. Um, but how are you enjoying the convention? Oh, it's pretty good so far. You know, I got this uh, just trading in a game I wasn't playing. And uh, hey, free is good, right? What'd you trade in? Uh, I traded in Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time from Super Rare Games, which is it's a really good deal on their end, really. But that's I need to get cool. rid of it. That's pretty cool. Have you played Monster Hunter Rise before? Or is yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. Nice. I just missed the, the, uh, the Amiibo. For it. They're really hard to come by. Yeah, Discord's channel is going to be in the description below. Check him out. <laughs> All right, I think it's time we look at some vendors. We met up with some people, talked with some people. I just saw Phoenix Resell, talked to him for a little bit. Cool to see him here. Uh, yeah, so let's look at some vendors. Okay, so just since I showed the WADA games, that doesn't mean I support WADA with what they're doing. I just thought it was very interesting to know that WADA, the company, actually showed up to this convention this week, especially with all the controversy within WADA. Um, also find it interesting that the Pawn Stars booth is with WADA. So 
Does that mean that Pawn Stars is supporting what WADA's doing? And are they part of the issue with what WADA is doing? I mean, I know that WADA has showed up before on Pawn Stars many episodes, but I didn't know they had that big a connection. I didn't know Pawn Stars was a reason why, you know, all this is happening. So I find it very interesting, but I just wanted to address that I am not supporting WADA games and what they're doing. I just wanted to show it off because they're here with all the controversy with them right now. He's returned, A Big Eric. Welcome back to the channel. How have you been, dude? Pretty good, just chilling. Uh, this is my first too many games in five years, I wanna say. Oh, wow. So I'm glad to be back. How's uh, it grown compared to like five years ago? I can't tell yet, because Friday's, Friday's oh, a yeah, slow day. Yeah. But uh, I'm, good. I'm glad to be back and just kind of chilling and hanging out. It's good to see you again as well. Yeah, it's great seeing you. If you guys didn't know, he was in our Southeast Game Exchange blog a few months ago. I like, I like Southeast Game Exchange. That was fun, that was a fun event. A Big Eric's channel will be in the description below. Definitely check him out, guys. Thank you. So I found somebody with an actual Monado. That That is so cool. I just gotta say, that's awesome. And you got it from where again? I got it imported actually. My friend got it for me. That is awesome. That is the coolest thing I have seen ever. Hi, I'm Barry from Premium Edition Games. And what we do is we publish physical Nintendo Switch titles. All of our games are hand-picked. We do it in series of two to three games. What we like to do is we like to connect gamers to the developers. So what we do with that is not only do we highlight what the developers do, but we try and get the developers connected to the gamers by doing challenges. So every one of our releases has a challenge card inside. These challenge cards are a developer-specific challenge. If you do that, submit to us the proof that you did it. What we'll do is we'll mail you a physical patch as our way of saying thank you. It's a physical achievement. And the developers love it too, so it really connects everybody. And that's one of the things that sets us apart. We also like doing special editions like our retro editions, where you get things like steelbooks, comic books, soundtracks. We also do things like our deluxe, where we have hardcover strategy guides plus the history of the physical is there plus the developer interviews are there we really like to get everybody involved and really make it something special so that's what we strive to do every one of our games we picked we we played we loved and we have that passion behind it so not only to see the developer's passion but our passion and together we create some awesome stuff Has his own, it's on the Switch, right? It's like a little Mario Kart knockoff, and then you go to Target and Walmart. Just got done at 8 Bit Eric's panel. That was a nice panel. Uh, nothing really much has happened today, but it's Friday. Nothing's really supposed to happen on Fridays. Any days that like conventions are three days, every single time Friday is just such a slow day. And even for a Friday, there's a lot of people here, as you can see. So, yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. We'll go over it in our uh, whole vlog series. Uh, we got a few more hours left at the convention. Uh, I'm trying to save some of the uh, vendor stuff for later in the week. I'll get some of it in each video. 
And uh, yeah, we might be meeting uh, Charles Martinet now, so that should be interesting. Just had the opportunity to meet Charles Martinet. That was so awesome. I got a ton of stuff signed by him. He also gave me a free autograph, and I'll show you all the stuff I got signed right now, just because it's so much. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get it on video. It cost a little bit too much money. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back later in the week, depending how much money I spend, and maybe we'll get Charles Martinet in an actual video, because that's something I really want to do. So uh, yeah, let's see what we got signed. Got this nice Super Mario 64 poster signed, Charles Martinet, real cool. Got Mario Odyssey, although I don't like this, well, I mean, I like the game. I think it's a little bit overrated, but it's definitely a top 10 Mario game. Got that signed by him. He hooked me up with a free signature on the Super Mario 3D World uh, Bowser's Fury game. That was awesome. Then the really cool thing I got signed was my Mario shoes box. He told me that he had never signed one of these before, so I was really happy about that. I'm gonna definitely have this on display in my loft. It's gonna be so awesome. But that's everything I've gotten signed so far. Uh, I'm gonna try to show a few more of the vendors because we're, we're gonna do vendors throughout all videos that we're having on the channel. Uh, but yeah, Scott the Waz is about to do a signing. I don't have anything to get signed, but I might try to get a picture. I already got a picture of them, but I don't know. We'll just have to see, uh, but yeah. So I'm about to leave the convention, take a little mini break just to sit down and drink some water. You're not gonna believe what I found on the floor. Someone put my own business card on the floor. I get, it must have been someone I gave it to. They're like, yeah, not a max. I don't care. I'm putting that in the trash on the ground. Not sure if I should be sad, happy, or what, but someone clearly doesn't like my business cards. Don't touch that! Oh my god! Don't touch that, man! Don't touch that glover! I'm a big fan! Don't. Wait! Oh my gosh! Don't buy glover! Don't touch that! Don't die! Alright, so without all the cringiness that just happened, we found Jay Matthews! Ah, this is crazy! This is He's 3D! 3D? You're 3D! I'm 3D! You're wearing Jay Matthews! Well, I'm wearing it on a mask. You should you shouldn't be seen right now. It's it's not out it's, Anyway, oh, oh. <laughs> we're we're here. Too many games. Exclusive. Exclusive. No one's ever going to see that for a very long time. Crazy stuff. I just bought Glover Complete. You guys saw it. Well, you... check out his video. Check out his video. There's some exclusive footage from me in oh, there. Oh, yeah. There'll, there'll be and... a ton. There'll be hours. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm probably going to do it all in one video. So, we got to get Jay Matthew to 1,000 subscribers. We got to. We oh, got to do it. Hail Mary happening this weekend. We, we got to do it. I'm going to start gathering people, bro. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check out his channel if you've not already. I know I've marketed this guy on the channel a lot, but legit, if you've not subscribed to him, get it done tonight. Oh, yeah. We gotta get him to a thousand subscribers. We got to. His channel will be in the description below. You got to. Back. Hey, what's going on? 
I was not expecting you to be here, to be honest. I was surprised. When I, I was just, I just walking. I pop up everywhere. What can I say? <laughs> You're in line to meet Scott the Waz, aren't you? I sure am. Yep, giving him, giving him some gifted. So oh. it's going to be fun. <laughs> Make sure to check out Phoenix Resale, guys. I know you oh. liked him when he was in the video last oh, time. So. Remember to like and subscribe on this one, too. No, check him out first. Check him out first. Because your channel is super massively underrated. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hey, Jack. So I'm here with Jay Matthew. He called the lads. Oh my gosh, he got naked. Chris! <laughs> what the heck? Everyone's here. Oh my gosh, it's like Super Smash Bros. Everyone's here. Hi, Carly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check all these guys out. They're going to be in the description below. He's filming, I'm filming. Look at us, look at us. Camera reception, baby. Here in the arcade area, I didn't do a good job of filming it, so I'm gonna show you guys what the arcade area looks like. This is where they do the tournaments at. The amount of people with no deodorant out there is going to be unreal. <laughs> They're all playing Smash Bros. You already know that like 90% of them don't have deodorant on. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just found the most random thing ever. Uh, we were just walking. I don't think we we're supposed to be back here and then we found this arcade machine. Pokeball grab. Uh, it's apparently a bunch of Pokeballs and it takes only one quarter of it, this one quarter. I'm gonna try my best to win something. And hopefully get something cool. I mean, I don't care what I get, I just wanna win this. One so. chance, one chance to win it all. All right, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh oh! <laughs> All right, everyone. That was day one of Too Many Games. Now, this is a three day convention. Now, we're doing these videos a little bit different. We're doing three separate videos for each day. There was a lot that we did not do because I want to have enough content to make all three separate videos. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you tune along with the series as I'm planning on hoping trying to get all this out daily. Probably not going to happen, but we're going to try. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to stay tuned for the next episode of this whole Too Many Games vlog series. Uh, and then I know a lot of people are going to be wondering where I pick up the convention. That's not going to be talked about till the final vlog where I show everything that I bought for the convention. So the only thing you guys know about is the stuff I got signed from Charles Martinet. I bought a lot of stuff today. So if that's something that's an interest, make sure you go to the final episode of this whole series. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you're new or if you're one of the people I met at Too Many Games, say hello in the comments. Uh, let's get some sleep. I gotta start editing this so this can come out tomorrow or Saturday. Hopefully it came out Saturday. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.